Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be making a really simple stylized um, fire pit type of model here. And obviously I'm going to start out by making it in Maya. And I'm going to be making a really simple shape of uh, one for one of the... Um, I would like to say they're stones, but they're a little bit geometrical, so they look more like bricks. So I'm going to be making it in Maya, and I'm going to keep it so that the uh, bricks or stone pieces are merged into one piece, into one model, and I export that as one piece, and then everything else is going to be separated and named accordingly. And so I'm going to export that as my high poly model, and then I'm going to do the, uh, the sculpting in ZBrush. Also, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below, and uh, I'll do my best to answer any questions. I usually answer most comments, or at least I, I give an indication that I, I've seen it. Starting out by just kind of like uh, creating polygroups for the brick uh, pieces or stones, and uh, I'm going to start to sculpt those mainly using the uh, Trim Dynamic brush. And I want them all to be uh, pretty much somewhat unique, uh, which is why I'm going to sculpt them all separately. Obviously. Uh, it could be made almost symmetrical and we could probably reuse a few bricks. But I do want it to be pretty unique. And then I'm also going to use the, um, the clay brush a little bit to add more variation to the um, just to the top pieces, to the flat areas. By the way, if you guys liked uh, the video, make sure you hit the like button and let me know if you guys are preferring the, the narrated videos or if you guys would prefer if I went back to the um, to the videos where I'm just playing music in the background. I'm just testing and I just want to see if you guys prefer this format or if you prefer the music style videos. So here I'm going to be using some of my brushes. Uh, it's mostly a mix of my brushes and the orb brush for the... Um, for the wood parts. So I'm going to use my brushes just to quickly add some details and then use the orb crack brush. And the uh, wood blocks uh, could also be, I could also ju just have made one and reused it, but I kind of wanted to make them unique as well, so I made uh, three different ones. I'm also keeping it fairly low poly. I'm not going super high poly with the poly counts. It looks like there was one of the blocks, one of the stones uh, did not, was not combined, so I'm going to combine that one. And I'm also going to combine the blocks with the ground piece. And I'm going to export this as my high poly. So this will be my new high poly model. And 
and then I'm going to create a low poly. I do want to get rid of the bottom part, so I just don't need that information. So to get rid of it, I just hide it and then do a Dynamesh. And I Dynamesh that relatively low poly so that I can decimate it. So I'm just testing a few different uh, poly counts here for the decimation. And then I exported that piece. Only that piece because the other ones were already good uh, for the low poly. And then in my, I'm just going to double check that the geo is still clean. And I'm also going to get rid of the bottom. So I'm just going to clean up a few things and then uh, lower the poly count a little bit for the top since it's not really needed. And check for end guns as well. And then I'm just going to do UVs. Uh, these are relatively easy because the model is really simple and low poly. And the, uh, the actual uh, fire pit itself, I'm going to keep mostly as one piece. I think it should work just fine for what we have here. And then I'm going to just duplicate a few pieces to have more uh, variation. Uh, those are going to be using the same UVs as the other one. So I'm just going to offset those. And then export that as my high poly, I mean my low poly. And then in ZBrush I'm also going to apply uh, ID maps as materials so that I can separate the uh, materials in Substance Painter. So in Substance I'm going to use the default settings, except I'm going to set to only self occlusion by name when I bake my maps. Then I'm going to use my smart material. Uh, if you're interested in that, how that one, if you're interested in how that was made, uh, there's a link in the video description. And I'm going to be using the ID map that I baked uh, to separate some of the different colors or materials, I should say. I'm going to keep the wood looking uh, relatively clean. Uh, it may not, it possibly doesn't make too much sense for them to be really clean because they've been on the fire. Uh, but I think because it's a stylized model, it's all right. I, mean, I guess I could probably add more, I guess, charcoal to it. But I kept it relatively clean. And then on the stones, I'm just gonna change, added some uh, color variation. Uh, if there's something I would change for this, I think I would probably make the the blocks, uh, the stones more round, so that they don't look too too geometric. I will probably make them more round, more natural. And then the last thing I do is I add an edge. And then the final model, I also I, I thought I recorded it, but I didn't. I added some um, emissive to the ground so that it looks like it's currently on fire without the VFX of course. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the final uh, render. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in the reel, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine, so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything, so click on that link below, and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now, so you don't miss out.